everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Fnafel and today I'm doing part three of the Picket Fence Dream Speed Build. So this is three out of three. I promise there aren't any more. Um, but yeah, in the first part, I mostly did the exterior and the landscaping. So if you're interested in that, you should definitely check out first part. And part two, I mostly did the basement and then the kitchen and a little bit of the living room. Um, and so you should also check out that one. But um, today I am doing um, the bedrooms on the upstairs floor. Unfortunately though, I don't know how. Like I don't know, maybe I just forgot to record it or maybe in the process of speeding up all the footage, um, of dividing the footage up for three episodes. But I lost the footage for the master bedroom on the upstairs floor. Um, so that's a little bit sucky. I did do some fun stuff in there, but there will be screenshots of it at the end. Um, and so for this first bedroom, I imagined a sort of drama kid really being in here. And so at first I tried to fit in the new puppet theater, but that just, it really didn't fit because it would have just been a puppet theater and a bed. And that would be a really sad and awkward bedroom. So I um, put that downstairs in one of the like nooks in the living room. And so I thought that worked out really well. Um, but this bedroom has a very pink and floral theme going on and I actually really dig it. I'm not that big on pink in real life. I mean, I like pink. Pink's okay. Um, but this bedroom is like intensely pink and I actually really enjoy it. Um, it also has a balcony, um, which I didn't end up really furnishing mostly because it like kind of ruined the line of the house outside, but, you know, if you wanted to in-game, definitely. Um, this is a more neutral kid's room, and so I do end up um, furnishing the balcony in this one, and which I really love, uh, but that'll be later on. Um, but for now, I'm just, I've been really into this wallpaper for some reason, and also the new beds from the kid's room stuff pack, um, and so... Um, this one, this bed also has some green in it, and I thought the other beds would look cool too, but I thought this one looked more childish. And so I just used all of the sort of neutral furniture, and there's like neutral flowers, and this room is just like neutral. Um, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here I'm trying to decide on what lamp to use, and for some reason that was a little bit hard, but I ended up just choosing one. Um, for some reason I think the floor lamps in The Sims 4 could be improved upon. Um, I think we could definitely get some more styles or something. I don't know. For some reason, I tend to not think of them as being that good. Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you guys disagree, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But <laughs> here, um, I... At multiple times in this build, I'm like, I forgot curtains, and so I would go back and like add more curtains. Um, but yeah, this room also has um, some green accent colors, which I really like. Like, it's in that big poster, it's in the tree I just put in the pears, and then that little sort of I don't know what it's called like little portrait framey things. But yeah, um, here I'm starting on the um, nursery. And I don't tend to do these um, in, in speed builds, um, mostly because the Sims don't spend that long of a time in baby form. And um, when they do, they're just like an object. But I have heard some rumors about toddlers coming up soon. I don't know. I actually think it's a big possibility. Uh, I think the real question is whether or not they're going to um, require people to pay for toddlers if they want them. But here, um, this build actually inspired something new for me. I made a changing table. And then in game, there aren't any changing tables. Um, and so um, I saw this sort of ottoman that came from the new kids room stuff pack. And I was like, you know, that kind of looks like the top of a changing table. And so I was kind of trying to find different ways to do it. And I ended up putting bar stools underneath it. And I really liked that. And so I actually made um, just a little mini video on sort of how I did it. And I gave different styles for doing it. And so if you're interested in adding them into your own builds, um, I have a couple you can download off of the gallery. Um, and then I also tell you how to do it in that video. So you should definitely go check that one out. I'll be putting a link to it in the description down below. Um, and so here I'm adding a little laundry basket. I thought that was so cute. It kind of looked like diapers. Um, 
but yeah I've actually changed diaper I mean I'm 22 going on 23 really soon I'm actually hoping to get 50 subscribers by my birthday I'm at 40 now and my birthday is on August 16th so hopefully that's possible that'd be really cool <laughs> Before recording this, I had not yet reached 50 subs, but I have now reached 50 subs. Thank you, everybody, and especially big thanks to The Sims 4 team for featuring me on their page. But yeah, I actually um, had a nanny job for a while, and so I changed a fair amount of diapers. Um, I actually, they didn't have a changing table, though. Um, I just changed the baby on the floor. I mean, he was more of a toddler. And that's just what the parents did, and so I did it. Um, they were actually cloth diapers, so that was a thing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get off the subject of diapers and move on. Here um, in the nursery, there was this sort of dead space, and I didn't know what to do because all the furniture seemed too bulky. Um, and so I ended up just going with that sort of flat like bench thing. You can't actually sit on it, I don't think, but I really liked um, how that looked. Uh, and so I thought that sort of made the room flow without it being too bulky of a piece of furniture. But yeah, so now I'm just adding the finishing touches for sort of decor and I end up throwing in that cherry blossom painting. And I just, you know, this bedroom is also a bit neutral and that's because I wanted it to be for any gender of baby, although I personally don't believe in gender coloring. Um, but yeah, and so I, I think was it here? Maybe not, a different time. I'll talk about that later. Um, but now I'm just moving on to the hallway and I'm putting on finishing touches. And um, a fair amount of this build is finishing touches towards the end um, because after I do this sort of hallway, I move on to the outside deck on this floor for the neutral bedroom. And then I like, kind of finish up like other stuff. And so, yeah, but there's a lot of finishing touches in this one. Um, yeah, and so here I added a floor runner in the carpet, and I've been kind of obsessed with those lately. I definitely had them in my last um, build, um, so that was interesting. But here is that balcony I was talking about. I love this one. It's so cute. I think it's, it's really simple. I mean, there's not much going on in it, but I think it would be a really great place to just chill, especially if that is a sort of teenager's room. Um, which I kind of imagined it being. It'd be fun to just kind of like sit out there and chill out. Um, I'm actually trying to make my deck space a little bit more livable at the moment because right now it's just like two chairs and that's about it, which is good, but it could use some more stuff. But here is the office and this is, what was I going to say? This I thought might not be the office at first, um, especially because there's another room on the floor that I thought was bigger and might make a better office, but I'm glad I went with this one because this one I think is more office sized. And I used those chairs, which I love those chairs for some reason. I think they look so comfy. They look classy but comfy and so I really enjoy that. And then I ended up using this vase here that I've just recently fallen in love with. Um, I think it came with the new dine out pack, but I used that in the last build that I did too. I just love it so much. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I've kind of run out of things to say. I guess that's kind of what you get for spreading like a build. This could have probably been a one part build. It, it would have been a long one though, more like 30 minutes. Uh, but I guess that's what you get for splitting into three parts. Um, oh, I know what I can talk about here. Um, I imagine this bedroom as being more of a guest bedroom, um, although I think it could be a master bedroom too if you really wanted to. Um, it's not as heavily like decorated and it doesn't have as much sort of closet space um, or like clothes storage areas. Um, and I actually kind of imagine this as being more for a older sim, like maybe like a mother-in-law has come to visit or just you know, extended older family in general. Um, although in a, in some ways that's not very classic suburban. Um, but you know, it's, it's pissy. Ugh, I don't even know what I was about to say. I was trying to say it's picket fence. And then I, I, I don't even know what happened there. Um, but yeah, here, um, like I said, just adding finishing touches. I also wanted to make sure that not necessarily that the lighting matched, but that it all went. Um, and there's some various lighting in the house that's a bit inconsistent, but 
that's okay. You kind of expect to get some inconsistencies in your builds when you do it in 20 minute chunks. Um, but here is that theater, puppet theater that I was thinking of putting in that really pink room, but it just didn't fit. And so I put it over here and I thought that this was a good use for the space because otherwise I would have just put maybe a desk, but probably a sitting area. And since it's right off of the living room, that doesn't make a whole bunch of sense. Um, yeah, um, and so here in another one of the sort of nook spaces, I end up putting this chair and then I put books on top of it, which is one of my favorite tricks. Um, I think that level of clutter is what really makes a home look realistic because I feel like almost everybody, whether they live, live in an apartment or in like a huge house, some, they have a chair or just a general surface that they use to store junk on. <laughs> And so here I'm using one of those new rugs. It's really, oh great, the train's coming. Okay, the train has passed, and um, in this section of the build, I am pretty much just adding in finishing touches for like furnishing stuff. I'll be starting to jump kind of all over the house and even outside a little bit. Like here's where I was like adding in some of the lighting and trying to make sure that it was like all coherent. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, feel free to leave me a like, a comment, or subscribe. You can download this off of the gallery, my Origin Ideas Pineapple YT. The screenshots are coming up soon, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!